Looking for a quick way to knot your thread? Or maybe you're wondering how to hide these knots on the back. Stay tuned to learn more about knots used in quilting. Here's a quick way to knot your single strand of thread. Place the needle between your first finger and thumb with the sharp point up. Take the tail, make a loop, bring it between your thumb and your first finger. Now let me pull that needle up a little. I'm going to wrap the thread one, two, three times around. If you embroider you might recognize this as a French knot. So you hold this where you wrap between your thumb and your first finger and you start pulling your needle through. And there's your knot. Now that you know how to tie the knot, let me show you how to hide it. I'll be using this scrap where I kind of test out stitching or iron-ons. I've drawn a line here that I'm going to follow. Normally if I was hand quilting, I'd be using between, see shorter needles. But in this video, I'll be using a longer needle to make it a little bit easier to see. So I don't want my knot to show when I start. And let's say this is where I'm going to start. If I just began sewing here, the knot would sit up on top of the fabric. I could trim the tail, but I'd still have a problem there. So instead of starting on the end here, I'll start over, oh, about a half of an inch or so, and I'll come into the fabric, and I'm only going to go into this top piece. If you, if you get part of the batting, that's okay, but it's best just to come in to the your quilt top and I'm at this point the knot is stuck here and there's a tail if I hold on to my quilt top and pull this it pops and when it pops you know that that knot is buried underneath there so let me clip the tail and there I've hidden my knot you can't see it on the back you can't see it on the front. Now I'm ready to quilt, hand quilt down this line. I'm going to do this very quickly and not fancy. I'm not much of a hand quilter as you'll see. I just want to show you how you end your knot. So let's get a few stitches in and now I want to hide my knot when I end. So we're going to do the same thing that we want to end right here. I've got a lot of thread. Normally when you're ready to end stitching you're only going to have a little bit of thread. So you want to have a little extra so you can maneuver because you need to wrap the thread around your needle. So let me do that again. You need to wrap the thread around your needle about three times. Make that sort of French knot. And then I'm going to go down right next to that stitch. Let me go in here. I'm going to hold on to this thread and then I'm going to take my needle and sort of travel through uh, uh, the inside of this quilt and I'll come up, oh, let's say a half of an inch or an inch away. With these little betweens it'll probably be about a half of an inch because they're shorter. So I pull this through and when I get to this point, oh I can, can see that big knot there. I don't want to see that so I'm going to pull and pop and it's disappeared. It's, it's knotted right underneath there. I don't want this tail showing so I'll clip that and I've hidden my knot. My knots are now buried between those layers. For more free quilting videos, visit LearnHowToQuilt.com. Please share with your friends. Thanks.